My gun is green, it's right as rain. Playing dumb, it's just a game. Hi, my name is Will Shanks. I'm product manager for Universal Audio's plugins. Today we're going to talk about how you can use the Studer A800 to get that fat two inch tape sound. We're going to dig in and just get into some of the features to help you understand it and get some better use out of it for your mixes. Okay, let's get started and take a listen to this track. So now what I'm going to do is drop the studer in on every track that I want the sound of tape. While the studer can be used on buses, its primary function is to be used as a multi-track. So to get the cumulative effect of tape, it's recommended to put it on as many tracks as you want to have the sound of tape. As you can see, I'm able to drop the studer on every instance of every track in this particular session with DSP to spare. So one of the more important features on the Studer is the gain controls, which allows you to globally adjust the Studer for every instance that you'd find in your session. So what this does is allow you to audition tape formulas or tape speeds with one control. So what you would do is simply turn on gain controls, and you get this flashing red light indicating that you're about to do something globally, potentially dangerous. This makes it extremely convenient for auditioning things such as tape formula or tape speed. AutoCal allows you to maintain a fully calibrated machine regardless of tape type or speed or any other parameter you might tweak here. So if you go in and tweak, say, bias with AutoCal on, if you go to another speed, bias will shift back to the original calibrated bias position for the next formula. Now we can get into the phase of auditioning what we want for this session, what vibe we want, what formula, what speed. First I'm going to gain up the input globally just to hit the tape a little harder to hear a little bit more of what the tape is doing. Right now these three instances are the overheads, the kick, and the bass, which tend to be some of the more critical sources for this plug-in to kind of check out. Of course, let's back down the output to get a decent gain match. Chase your lots, call my mom. JFK, country songs. I think for this session, I'm going to stick with the 250 at plus three. The 250 tends to have the broadest sweet spot for the nonlinearity, and it seems the most forgiving. Okay, now that we got a basic overview of what the sound is that we want. I'm going to turn gain controls off and we'll start to dig into individual sounds. First I'm going to check out the kick drum because it uh, often is suitable for customization by doing things like over bias and maybe hitting it harder than usual. Again, uh, bass frequencies tend to respond well to over biasing and hitting the input harder. Maybe let's uh, hit it a little bit harder and see how it does breaking up a little bit more. Well, maybe I'll just add a little bit of air lost from over biasing. Now let's check it out in the mix. Now let's check out the bass solo. Now as you can see I'm pushing it very hard on the bass. Again this is not uncommon on an analog tape machine to hit the bass very hard even where the, the meter doesn't pull back to zero. So right now I'm going to gain match and 
just want to get a little bit of almost uh, almost a clipping sound on it. Now that we have our customized kick and bass settings, um, I think we can now go back and audition the studer across the entire mix, starting with the unaffected. Thanks for watching this demo, and I hope this tutorial helps you integrate the Studer A800 in your mixes and uh, gets you well on your way to improving your sound.